All right, everybody, this is Eternal Blade here, and welcome to the first part of the Christmas Ornaments tutorial. So if you guys saw the promo video, you'll see that we are trying to make uh, this image right here. Um, so this part will be covering the polygon modeling of the ornaments itself. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. It's nothing too difficult, so we should be able to have a good time here. So make sure you got 3ds Max open, uh, unit setup, all that. You know, it doesn't much really matter. It's uh, sort of arbitrary at this point. So just go in your top viewport here and create a sphere, okay? We're gonna leave it at the default of 32 segments. Now you're gonna to wanna to convert this to an editable poly. You can either go here and press edit poly, or my actual favorite way is to go to, um, let's see, the customize, I think it's preferences, no, not preferences, customize, where is it, user interface. I like to go here into the keyboard and find convert to edit poly. It's somewhere in here, I guarantee you. Here it is, Convert to Edit Poly. And I bind it to Control-Alt-Q, and that's what I, I save it as. You can save it there. So that way, um, if we create a sphere, we just press Control-Alt-Q, and bam, we have an instant edit poly. So uh, let's come in here and select uh, the topmost portion of these, and we're in the polygon mode. And we'll just delete them, okay? Now, uh, let's press F4 and Alt-W to maximize the window here. Click on one of our lines and shift click or control click, control double click on the next and go to our, uh, press W for move tool and just shift drag this up a little bit. Okay, just like that. So now we kind of got like a, a lump there. All right, now let's apply a turbo smooth modifier. Okay, and you'll instantly see that we sort of get an ornament like shape, which is what we're after. Now I think that this might be a bit big for what we're looking for, so let's just. Uh, control double click there, press R, and we're just going to scale it in ever so slightly. All right, perfect. And maybe we will uh, press one on the keyboard to go into our ver vertex object mode and just drag it down a bit. All right, perfect. Now we've got uh, the base of our ornament done. Let's uh, work on creating the top portion here. So what we're going to want to use is a um, a cylinder should work fine. Uh, so, Alt W, let's just sort of go in the center here and drag a cylinder out. Doesn't much matter about the height for now, we're going to adjust it. So drag it up to over here. Uh, for the height segments, let's give it, um, hmm, I think three height segments is about what we're looking for. Decrease the radius until it's a little bit bigger there. All right, and 18 segments should be fine. So let's convert this to an edit poly. And then what we're gonna wanna do is come into here to our perspective view, press F4 uh, to view that. And we're gonna want to actually drag this up a little bit just so we can see it. Go to our polygons here, um, inset just a bit, just to give it some thickness. And we're gonna wanna extrude it up. So give it an extrude like that, okay? Now come in here and let's go into this view and grab the top row vertices and bring it kind of up a bit. And this should be our middle row. So we want to bring that down just a bit. And this row can stay right here. So what we want to do now is just grab every other one of these um, rows right here, okay? And we have uh, 18 segments on our circle here, so that should be enough, I believe. If it's not, well, I'll probably end up re-recording this. Okay, so there we go. Now what you want to do is just drag them up. So we get this kind of, you know, weird looking shape here. And you can drag them up yeah, pretty high. Okay, now let's just click and control double click and just bring this up above there. Okay, uh, next let's grab this top piece here. We're gonna inset it a bit and we're just gonna drag it up a little bit like so. And we're gonna bevel it again. Okay, and then one last little bevel here. Okay. Now let's apply a turbo smooth, mod turbo smooth modifier. Okay, perfect. So now we're getting that kind of you know top of the ornament shape. 
So come into here and let's just position it right on top of here. All right, so it's kind of what we're getting, you know, the little ornament shape. Now I probably want mine a bit longer than this. So we're just gonna grab these and just increase the size there. All right, and sink it down a bit more. Okay, perfect. I believe that is exactly what we're after. We have a bit longer stem, and actually I think we probably did a bit too much, so we're just gonna bring it down a little bit. Perfect, there we go. Next, um, the final step here is just to get a tube, and let's use the auto grid option. Okay, and just make a tube, just like that. Apply a turbo smooth. Okay, we can give it two iterations, and on your tube, make sure that the height segments are down to one. Uh, that way we'll get a perfect um, little uh, tube when we uh, make it. And press A for angle snap, rotate it 90 degrees, okay? Um, you can just bring this up a little bit and just try to align it as best you can. Okay, both the X and the Y. All right, and let's see. What we want to do now is go here and maybe increase the size of this just a little bit, and we'll give it a bit more of a bevel. Okay, just to give this ring something to grip onto. And perfect, uh, that'll be the end of part one. So now we have our main Christmas ornament. I will see you in part two.